hey guys welcome back to another gem editor tutorial on today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can use the set clip and the fade command all right so first go to F2 mode press F2 on your keyboard this is the F3 mode and if if you press F2 then you'll see a different window so this is the F2 mode all right now press 3 on your keyboard or go to this section clip now here select show map borders so this is actually the set clip set clip are the map borders and these are the preset this is the default preset auto and you can create more than one preset over here as much as a as you want in one single map so this is a very effective way of dividing the map into several parts when creating missions or during any kind of simulation so let me show you so this is the auto do not change this one we're gonna create a new one so this is clip one we're gonna name it clip one and after selecting clip one we are going to select the lines and then drag them if you guys want to know what these lines are for other I have made a separate video about it in the description you will find a playlist Go to the playlist of my gem editor tutorials, locate the set clip video and then you'll see what I have explained about these lines. Now I'm making a new boundary on this map. I'll divide this map into two sections using the set clip. Alright. Select each of the lines. let the purple line be where it is just move the blue and the yellow one all right all right let it be so this is one side of the map now we're gonna um, make another one clip 2 so on clip 2 we are gonna shrink the map on another side just move only the blue and the yellow line all right <coughs> okay So we have clip 1 which will cover this side of the map and clip 2 which will cover this side of the map. Alright now to sh switch off show map borders. Now we have our clip. Save it. Now go to F3 mode. Press F3 on your keyboard for scripting. This is for map making. F2 mode is for map making and F3 mode is for scripting. Now go to F3 mode and open up the trigger panel and create a trigger. We're going to create um, map border. Okay, now I'm going to move the map borders one at a time. So it will start with default. Okay, it will start with default. So we're going to add a command. And add here a delay. We're going to give a delay of 5 seconds. And then we're going to add again. Now go to scene. And scroll down and locate for set clip. 
All right, now inside set clip you will see three of them auto clip one clip two by default it will be auto so after five seconds we're gonna switch on to clip one then after another five seconds we are going to select clip two then after another five seconds we are gonna come back to auto means the entire map all right save it now we're gonna test see the map closed so after another five seconds we are here on the corner side now the map opened up so this is how you use set clip uh, you can divide the map uh, blocking off areas using set clips now I have said that I'm gonna show you guys how to use set clip and the fade command so you can use both of them together for more effectiveness when creating simulations like battles or missions so select the map border trigger all right I'm inside it now what I'm gonna do is add another command so go to generic oh sorry not on generic sorry go to other now inside the other go to fade select fade now fade uh, it makes an effect of fade in the screen will fade in or fade out now this will add this effect fading effect so this will add the time now this is fade in and if you switch it off this means fade out so by default this is fade out and if you select the on the screen will fade in so we're gonna fade out all right will give timer five seconds now color will be black by default now press alter and press the up arrow to move the fade up now what will happen is that all right move it up delay so fade has a five second delay and we have also added a delay of five seconds so what it will do is that for after five seconds of fading the map border will be shut or the map will be uh, given a new set clip let me just show you instead of explaining you'll understand so this is fade out oh my bad <laughs> I forgot to press the default player see see how this screen fades out now you can also um, do one thing that is let me show you uh, we don't want the viewers to see the uh, divide uh, the screen get divided or the map gets divided we don't want the viewers to see it so for that we're gonna give the fade 10 seconds Okay. Now we're gonna change it to three seconds. Save it. Um. Let me change my mission properties. Select zero. Save. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. With. So we have to fade in and fade out at the same time. My bad. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna fade in. Then delay, um, add another fade. This one will be fade out for 10 seconds. Scroll it up. All right, now we are good. 
so we have one option fade in this is on activated so fade in for 10 seconds then a three second delay and a fade out for 10 seconds now let's see the result okay you can obviously see the result that the screen faded and the map border changed so you guys clearly got a brief idea about set clip now I'm gonna show you guys how to use fade in and fade out so we have 10 seconds of fade in then we're gonna give a delay of 10 seconds and then we got 10 seconds of fade out so this is how to use fade now the screen is fading in now it is fading out after 10 seconds you can add this feature at the end of the mission or at the start of the mission or during us uh, uh, some events that will go around on the map like a unit will be spawned or something will happen Anything that you guys you guys will understand how to use this fade in and fade out and also the set clip So this was today's tutorial. I hope I'm clear about my things It's very simple you use fade in and Fade out this is very simple and I taught you how to use the set clip how to use set clips all right so this was quite a clear simple video i hope you will understand and i made myself very clear so this is a very basic but useful technique of using set click and fade commands so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys on the next one